everybody welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be talking about the most anticipated event i can't even say it with a straight face the most anticipated sales event of the year and i i, I want to say that seriously i anticipate i love this event i have been a nordstrom anniversary sales shopper for a long time now at, I want to say at least 10 years, probably longer than that. I can't remember the first time I, I actually went to it. I know I used to go with my mother years ago, um, but like myself as my own personal, I know I've been shopping at least 10 years. I, and being the Gen Xer that I am, I think I forget the decades. You know how we talk about like 1980 was only 20 years ago. It's actually been 40 years. <laughs> I, I, it's probably been 20 the years I've been shopping, but you know, whatever it, that's, that is what it is. I want to talk about a different perspective on this sale. You're going to see a lot of videos about the anniversary sale from the perspective of the influencer or the really high spending shopper, those who like ride or die, go and spend thousands if not tens of thousands of dollars with Nordstrom and also have you know the early access to it I am not that person anymore at one time maybe <laughs> I was because I used to shop almost exclusively um there and I just kind of have slowly transitioned away from them not that they've done anything wrong per se but now that I've I've moved where there's not an actual Nordstrom store within you know 15 minutes away it's about an hour or so to get to a full Nordstrom store I just got a rack back in my um, area about it's been six months September of last year is when we got it and it the first couple times I went there the selection was horrendous I just went there again about three weeks ago and it finally had a few decent things but for the most part it's been really just uh, dismal and I just haven't wanted to shop for quite some time so I pretty much have lost my status there I think I'm influencer this year so which is like the very bottom access just before the public gets access so I have just just barely like three days access before the general public does so this video is going to be from that perspective someone who he's gonna get a little bit of um, advanced notice on it but even though this year I'm you know way at the bottom um, I think last year I maybe had one higher tier and I still waited until either it opened to the public or later on to um, shop because we had other things going on it just wasn't a priority for me so there were some things I did last year that still seem like they might be the case this year so I want to talk about those kind of tips and tricks and just kind of my experience and advice on the sale and my perspective on it and plus I am you know a big gal larger gal and the sale I'll be frank is not geared towards plus size there are plus size products there are some items that may be of interest to you they I think if I remember correctly I did the search 198 items that are within my size range at this point in the preview. There may be more that get released. I don't think so, but that sounds about like what it was last year, about 190 items. That doesn't bode well from the quick scan I looked at, so it's not exactly geared towards the entire spectrum. Um, but again, it has so many different categories that I still shop there because there's beauty, there's shoes, handbags, all the different departments that there's something and they're usually of interest. However, we're going to dive into the website. We're going to check and see if there is anything that makes any sense to care about <laughs> and have any kind of, you know, excitement about. So we will go forth and look through the website. We will poke around and see if there's anything that makes sense. But most importantly, I'm going to let you know what my opinions are on the hype behind it and, you know, my advice on do's and don'ts. 
So really quickly, if you aren't aware about the anniversary sale, it is a sale that basically, it's kind of like a pre-fall sale where they bring in a bunch of items. Some items like beauty items are made exclusively for the sale or bundled or packaged for the sale. They are things that you're gonna see almost every year some iteration of the product and i'll go into a few of the things i've bought every single year without fail they just change the packaging they change the outer curtain or they may change the color offerings but it's like you will always find this jean you'll always find this set of perfume you'll always find whatever this blanket they'll always have some version of it every single year. And it's always at this time, it's always at some kind of discount. Um, prices obviously are not consistent. Every year they change and this year some of these prices have gone up and it's gonna be blunt. Um, but it, as far as access goes, so if you are a big spender with this, you are an icon Nordstrom card holder, you get access starting July 9th through the 14th. If you are an ambassador, you get icons get one day of access july 10th through the 14th ambassadors come in and then july 11th is when i get to come in and this is not that much of an early access about five days total for the icons four days for ambassadors three days for influencers and then everyone gets access July 15th through August 4th. So it's quite a big window of access this year, if I remember correctly. And that's kind of where I'm gonna start with um, kind of tips and tricks and um, cautionary tales. So you'll hear a lot of other videos talk about, you know, as soon as you know, get in there and it's gonna sell out and oh my God, and like the hype and the freak out, don't freak out. I'm, I'm, don't freak out. I'm, not, I'm just going to be blunt. So yes, it's going to sell out. Yes, the items are going to go. But here's the, here's the thing. <laughs> They're going to come back in stock 90% of the time. I noticed that everything I put on my wish list was gone by the time I got access to it. And I was like, well, sh I almost cussed there. <laughs> well, crap. And what happened? So by the time I was able to pivot and circle back and be able to focus on even thinking about the sale, it was probably like end of July, maybe even early August. I can't remember the timing last year, but it was close to the end. And I started getting notifications from my wish list. This item is back in stock. Hey, this item's back in stock. And I'm like, I thought everything was sold out. What are you talking about? How is it back in stock? What's going on? And lo and behold, got my Buy Rido set, got my Barefoot Dreams cardigan, got, I forgot the other things that I was had on my list last year, but everything that I had wanted came back in stock. And I got the same price, got the item, and just had to basically sit around and wait. And it was not a big deal. And the odd thing was those notifications kept coming after the sale ended. And I was just like, well, that's really strange. Why am I still getting these notifications? I was getting notifications for the Byredo set in like September and October. And I thought, well, is that just a glitch in the app? No, lo and behold, they were popping up. And I kind of figured something out that, you know, I was watching other videos out there and you're hearing folks that they're they're buying one or two of the same item because they're trying it out making sure the size fits and blah 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 and then returning whatever and you know Nordstrom's has the like well not sure it still is but has always been rumored to have the best return policy out there and I thought well are they just buying up everything under the sun and then returning it as you know whenever they feel like it down the road. And of course, Norton just wants to get rid of it <laughs> once they get back the product. So I'm going to this year make my wish list, not panic. And if it's there on the day I have access, I will purchase. If it's not, I'm going to sit on back and wait for those notifications to come up. And I can almost bet that I will have no problem getting the items that I want to get at any given time. Again, not guaranteeing it, but it seemed to be very common. And I went back and just kind of thought about 
the year before that. And like, I remember getting some notifications that a few things came back in stock. There were a couple that never did, but a few things did. But last year was the first year that it was just like really prevalent that every single thing that I wanted came back at some time and I was able to pick it up. So I'm going to play it by ear this year and do that, you know, ultimately my advice is don't freak out. It's, it's not worth it. It's not worth the headache. They're okay prices. They're okay deals. You can probably get the product elsewhere. You may not save the amount of money, but it's not like that fear of missing out is really about maybe that small savings. But I'm also noticing that because of the economy right now and because of how things are going, it might very well be that these things will come in, not sell out, and eventually end up at the rack on clearance anyway. So, you know, I, I wouldn't get too worked up about it. There are some great deals, but it's nothing that, you know, you need to be wasting the mascara on, crying up a river. It there, there are some good items, but it's nothing that you need to, you know, like, skip work for the sale. Don't listen to that type of hype. It's, it's, it's a sale. It's a good sale. It's a good sale, but take it with a grain of salt. It, you'll be fine. So I had to go over and shop the sale a little bit. I, I will just insert voiceover and insert the images of the website. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we're here on the website. Oh, you look reminding me that I'm only an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, some little eye candy there. Little links to send us to our wish list. Some curated what's most wished for by folks out there. So some quick eye candy for everyone. I can't say I agree per se, but you know. It's not bad. Let's talk about some of the items that we are interested in, or at least I am interested in. So, um, hello, Herschel Supply Company with their Damier Eben esque looks. So, we've got a bum bag here for $29. We've got a backpack, which is a you know classic old school backpack, nothing too fancy. $62.99 and then this little bad boy right there which I have to tell you I'm quite I'm quite tempted by because it you know has the look this little access point right here for shoes that's pretty cool um I mean it it is not anywhere near but from afar in the airport who's I know right it's like it's just the look for less. So it's definitely a thought that is for sure. I'd probably wait for this to get to the rack. So um, sale $72.99 up through August 4th, I believe is the end date. And then after sale, it will still be available. Let's go to the next item. So handbags. I'm going to tell you, I am under, underwhelmed is the... Um, the statement of the of the year. There is just not a lot there. There are a couple of coach pieces, um, basically two iterations of um, a walk-ish type bag. We'll look at the quick preview on this one. Um, I mean, meh. it is what it is. There is a black version as well. So that's what's kind of odd about when you first do like the filtering. So these two come up, but the black doesn't come up under its own icon. So you do have to, if you see two colorways there, you do have to go in there and kind of look around. So don't, you know, take some time when you're building your wish list. So this one here comes in the three colorways. I'm, this is just not my kind of bag. I don't wear these kinds of things on the shoulder. I'm not a fan of keeping them in the crook of my arm. Um, so yeah, this is not my kind of bag, but you know, it may be yours. Let's see if they have one with on a model. They don't. So, oh wait, there's another strap. I don't need a brown ice. I want a black bag. So I'm adding it to my wish list. I I don't I don't think I'm gonna buy it, but I'm adding it to the wish list. Um, just for a maybe, just a maybe. We'll see. What I do find slightly interesting is this Longchamp 
number. It's a tiny little bag, but it's kind of cute. I'm not sure it's $171.99 cute, but especially being textile. And here it is in just black. Here it is in white. So yeah, 134. Yeah, 134. I could I could get behind that, but yeah, I'm not not a fan. So um, the other one that's slightly interesting is this JW Pay. It's faux leather though. That's I don't know. It's giving me Loewe with the handle. I just don't like the the faux leather aspect of it. It I just have to. I would have to really love it to to go there, and I just don't see myself doing that. So meh, meh. And then that denim one, same thing. It's just not really feeling it. And uh, just out of everything else out there, there wasn't a whole lot. Um, now, what is really on people's radar though are the blingy bags. So this JW Pay um, Mini Abacus one was really sparking people's um, attention. I think it's just a little bit too small, but you know, it, if you like tiny little bags, this could be your thing. And you know, 89 bucks, not too bad. It's fine. I kind of like this one more and it does come in a black version as well with gold, but I like this one more. And then the one that really caught my eye was this little number down here. This is the black crystal, but the silver crystal, I was like, oh, hi, hello there. I, I love you. So this is just really, really cute. So that one, that's tempting. I just don't know... I mean, I have some symphony during the holiday to go to symphony outings in downtown, but usually I carry a different kind of bag because it's in downtown Portland. I just like to be a little bit more under the radar, under my coat type of, yeah. So that's, that's the fancy bags. Let's go over to beauty products. There are 339 beauty exclusives this year. And I have to tell you, it's a lot of the same stuff. A lot, a lot of the same stuff. And if these are worth $190, I know that there's some luxury beauty influencers that do stand by the Prada lippies, but for the most part, meh, but that's the only one that really caught my eye. Um, as far as beauty products go, there's a lot of the same old, same old in here. I have some fragrance items curated out, but um, you're going to find your typical skincare, all that, you know, stuff in there. But let's pop over to fragrances. So what we have here are a lot of sampler sets and there are some pretty good decent deals. Most um, notably, in my opinion, the Creed set here. So there's three um, small sets. I think they're 0.33. Yeah, 0.33 of Aventus for Her, Love and White, and Windflower. And it just seems like a pretty decent sampler for the price. Um, granted, it's not full sizes, but I believe, if I remember correctly, it's like $300 for one ounce of Creed. So there, that's a, I think it's a pretty good sampler price. Um, these are here every year. That's why when you look at this sale and then an after sale, that means they're going to be there for the long haul. They're going to continue to stock them. What you want to look out for, let's see if I can find one on here. Ah, these. So these types of things, whoops, Lalabo, Byredo, Diptyque, when you see sale $95 and then the value, when you see that, that is a made for the sale type of item. And it does, it's basically until it sells out. So you, it will be this price until it sells out. You will see it after the sale at this price. Even I got 
weird notifications last year and maybe, you know, again, until it sells out. So I had gotten weird notifications through like September and October last year for some items I'd put in um, on my wish list as they were returns and things put um, back. Um, I maybe found stock. I don't know, whatever the stipulation was, people who ordered and never picked up their orders, what have you. Um, things were coming back after the sale and they were still at this price. So basically when you see this type of um, marking, that means yes, in August it goes up to $97 and they'll stock it for as long as they have them. But these are specifically made for the sale and they will be while supplies last. So those are the ones, in my opinion, are the ones you might need to freak out about and try to buy. Um, but at the same time, encountering what I did last year, they do come back in stock on occasion. So put them on your wish list. If they sell out, just, you know, keep watching. And when they pop back in, purchase them. But otherwise, you know, don't lose sleep over it. It's not going to be the end of the world. So those those kind of things like this cough fret set, again, sale. It's a good price considering what you're getting in here. It's a 585 value, so again, good price, but it's not going to be something that, you know, is going to go up in price in August. It's just going to sell out when it sells out. I have this Joan Malone set. I really like it. I think it's a good value. I would I would pick it up if I were you. Um, if you want a Joan Malone um, sampler, these are not, in my opinion, the best values, but, you know, hey, if you love these scents, I do love Woods Sage and Sea Salt. Um, I would pick them up in, you know, other places. Are there any other ones? Here's another. This is a really good, this is a really good value. So if you love all the Delina, this is a really good value. Other than that, there's nothing in here that is screaming my name. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I lied. This one. And the only reason why I'm drawing attention to this is I bought this one and I have the, um, I have last year's version. I believe it's last year. Or maybe it was the year before they've just changed one of the fragrances. Let's go into it. So I have, yeah, Unhardin Citrae. Uh, I can't pronounce that. That one is the new one. So I have a different one from my from my set. So that kind of bums me out. I have Lagoon. I have Monsieur Lee. Sir Lanel. Sir Yeah, I have I have these these four in there. So what did they put in here? This. So they swapped out Sir Latot and these two. So these two have been swapped out. Apple tree, pear tree for grasses and olive wood. So, you know, uh, that's why I'm not picking it up because these are really good fragrances. It's just, it's a nearly identical dupe to what I already have. This is a really good value. I think they're 160, if I remember correctly. I'll type the actual price at the Hermes website. They're significantly more. So this is a very good value. I, I would definitely pick up Hermes fragrances from um, Nordstrom's in the sale. There's a Twilly one over here as well. Same thing. It's a very good price when you can get it. Um, I'm not exactly thinking that this Tom Ford one is, but um, yeah, I would move on from that. But, you know, if you like the fragrance, obviously pick up what you like, but I can't say that anything else is a great deal. And then last but not least is the hair care. I typically pick up a lot of things in um, the hair care realm here. And this year, I think I'm walking it back some. Um, I'm going to pick up this Tangle Teaser. I think this is the one that Jacob uses, but I can't remember. So I have it on my wish list. I'm going to double check and make sure that is the one. And I just thought that was a pretty good um, price for two pieces. Other than that, Aveda, you can get the Cosmetic Company outlet for near identical, if not less, for these exact sizes. And I mentioned this last year, a lot of the stuff from this sale will end up at Cosmetic Company outlet when this is done. So in fact, I was just there. A lot of this stuff, Kiehl's, Aveda, um, will end up at the CCO. Um, in fact, I picked up what was on my wish list, this. 
I picked up a three piece set of shampoo, the conditioner and the spray, um, detangler slash, I guess, hair protectant, whatever, eight ounces, which, you know, this is significantly more, um, in product, but eight ounce bottles, all three items, 30 bucks. So $10 per bottle. So if you think of, you know, eight times three, 24 ounces, 24 ounces, $30. If I, and I picked up three packages of them. So I got nearly the equivalent of this for $30. So, I mean, I can go back and get another one and then I would still be at maybe 40 bucks for having this. And then oddly, the conditioner is significantly more, $75. So even better sale. These end up at the cosmetic company outlet. And if not there, you'll also see them at the rack. So again, don't freak out. You'll see this kind of stuff there. Another place to look for the T3 is Costco. Last year, Costco got a bunch of um, versions of this at a different price point. So these exclusives that are made for Nordstrom's, guess what? The brands make exclusives for other, you know, companies as well. So just kind of use your, use your noggin and, and go around and, and look for your other sources. Okay. So I just wanted to um, show you my wish list. It's, it's quite small. And a lot of this on here is something I'm not going to buy. Just kind of like I'm leaving it on there for reference, but um, this is on the date added sort. So literally you just saw me add a couple of these things to it. So let's talk about the things that um, I added before talking to you and things of interest. So um, I, I doubt I'm going to buy these, but these have been talked about quite a bit. These um, gazelle Adidas, Adidas, however you <laughs> pronounce that, um, shoe, they're just slightly tempting. I like the colorway on them and they have a blush color or this dark brown, I'm well, I should say medium brown tone. Maybe I'm more of a Nike girl myself, but um, Nike you can get a, a really decent discount at the rack. I also, through my employer, get access to the Nike company store once per year as well. So I typically pick up my Nike from there. So um, I, I don't usually get a whole lot of tennis shoes from um, this sale, but you know, it was interesting. So I added it. And then the things that really did interest me were these Chanel dupes. So a Carl Lagerfeld, um, Paris one, I will probably honestly wait for this to clearance over to the rack. Um, the ones that are really tempting are these BCBG generation um, low heels. I doubt I'm going to go for this high heel one. Um, I love the pattern on it, the tweed, but um, I want it in this flat or variation, I should say, of it. So they only have this sequin version, this black on black, or this creamy tone in the sale. I, I just really wish they had the tweed. And they do have... A tweed, um, I think the pink tweed, not on the sale. I think the normal price is like eighty nine dollars or ninety nine dollars. Um, so, yeah, maybe. Again, these are all maybes, and I'm not going to lose sleep over them. It's just they, I found them interesting and thought they were cute. Um, what I will likely buy is um, the La Mer set. I get it every single year. I just got to decide which version, if that's the soft cream or the regular. Um, but I like to pick up this set every year. I like to indulge in my skin during the winter. This is my favorite thing to use on my skin, um, basically over the holidays through January. And I buy it every year. I think it's only gone up in price by a couple of dollars over the last few years. So it's a really good set. These bags are very well made. Um, that's just my opinion. I'm probably not going to pick up the, the Bumble and Bumble because I just picked up that one set, like I mentioned earlier. Um, going to pick up the Tingle Teaser. We'll probably pick up the Olaplex. I really like that shampoo and conditioner. Um, and then these items I didn't talk about because I'm not, I'm just displeased with the plus size offerings. These were the only things I found that were 
sort of cute. Um, I don't like the price point, so I'm literally waiting for them to have hit the rack. This this being so short, I'm just like, what? I, this is a t-shirt to me or a regular tunic shirt. So I would only wear this with like leggings. I'm just like, what the heck? That is way, way too short. This is a typical length. So yeah, not for this price point. I'd pay no more than half, but these things will end up eventually um, on sale and will go for a much lower price. So they're just on there to have on there. If I splurge on one, it will be this one or this one here, but likely, like I said, I'm going to wait for them to hit the rack, um, you know, in October, probably. So the only other one that, again, of any interest is this sweater from Eileen Fisher, and I can almost um, bet money and more than I could guess running on Powerball, this will be $80 at the rack um, by late fall at the at the latest. So um, I will end up going that route. Other than that, um, okay, so there are 20 items from Barefoot Dreams this year, and there's some socks. That's great. There are some pet sweaters. That's great, which you can find at the rack. Don't worry about that. Um, pillows, fabulous. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight blankets, eight versions of the blanket, but there's only one cardigan and it doesn't have freaking pockets. I buy this cardigan. I buy a cardigan every year from the sale. This is the first year and I don't know how many years that I'm not buying one. I'm, I hate, this is too short. It doesn't have pockets. It is a horrible neckline. I'm, I'm so disappointed in everything. It looks so cheap. It, I'm, I'm just, I'm so disappointed. I don't even, I don't even know what to say. So I'm, I'm venting here. I'm so sorry, but that was like the one thing I wanted to definitely splurge on. Um, not getting a blanket. I would like to propose to all of my friends out there, let's band together and not buy the blanket because these end up at the rack for like $57. So if we don't buy these, they'll end up at the rack <laughs> just in time for the holidays. <laughs> We could pick them up for $57, 60 bucks, and we can get a whole bunch of them for half price and really enjoy ourselves. So let's band together because you know you already have two of them. I have three, and one of them became you know, Pickles Chew Toy. So I want to pick up some more, but I'm not I'm not paying $109 um, or $118 for some of these. I, I'm sorry, not happening. This is the same one from last year. I The only one that's reasonably tempting is this one again not paying $119 and then I like this one too and I'm like nope you know what nope 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 so I am not I'm not doing it I'll see what the rack has in store for me in you know October November and play it you know by ear so good luck to you hope you get everything that you may want in the sale um all I can say is don't freak out just just stay calm. You can do this. Okay. So that is my thoughts about the sale this year. Kind of not exactly as thrilled as I have been in past years. So that's kind of sad, but you know, I'm thinking they're, they're trying to change things up a little bit. They're trying to, you know, draw maybe a different crowd. Who knows? There are still some consistent items that I see every year and that's great. But yeah, I, I just don't see as much there that I want to um, make the effort on, but there's a few things. So anywho, I hope that you learned something. If you didn't know anything about the Nordstrom sale, I, I probably think you do. If you want to comment down below, like, share, all those YouTube things that we love you to do, I'd really appreciate it. And 
Uh, thanks for, so much for watching the video. I hope that um, it was a little bit informative. I really enjoyed spending time with you and talking with you and I will see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.